talk about the medical conditions which affect the penis. We talk about uh, uh, we are talking about uh, erectile dysfunction. Or we have peyonel disease or abnormal curvature. We have reapism, prolonged erection. So seeking medical attention is important if you experience any concerns regarding uh, this uh, penis thing. So overally, uh, penis pro uh, plays a very important role in reproductive and sexual function and maintaining health. It is health, uh, it is health or well-being is important for overall well-being of the man. Uh, for some details, when we talk about the anatomy of the penis, we are talking about uh, it consists uh, of uh, several aspects in the urinary and also the reproductive part of it. It, it has the root, like I mentioned, the root of the penis, the base or uh, proximal uh, portion that attaches within the pelvic region. It consists of the uh, uh, crura, uh, which are two elongated structures that extend backward and attach to the pelvic bone. We also have the body, what we call the shaft. The body or the shaft of the penis is an elongated cylindrical portion and extends from the root of the tip of the or the gland of the penis. It contains three, uh, three uh, cylindrical erectile tissues. Number one is about what you call corpus uh, cavona, cavona, cavanosa, two large columns of erectile tissue which are on the upper side of the penis. These columns fill with the blood during erection, contributing to the penile rigidity or hardening of the penis. Corpus pongeosum is also another part of it. A smaller column of erectile tissue located in the underside or the ventral of the penis. It's surrounded by the uh, it's, uh, it surrounds the urethra. Or and it remains partially rigid during erection to maintain the electro, uh, urethral patency for ejaculation and also for urination. On the gland of the penis, when we talk about it, the gland also known as the head of the penis is bulbous. Uh, uh, it, it looks like a bulb, rounded structure located at the distal end of the shaft and uh, it is highly sensitive because it contains uh, numerous uh, nerve endings uh, so that uh, uh, making it the primary erogenous zone. Uh, number four we have what we call the prepuce or the foreskin. The prepuce or the foreskin is the retractable fold of the skin that covers and protects the gland of the penis in a uncircumcised male. It can be retracted to expose the gland during sexual activity or hygiene or, or during clean, cleaning or the, during, when you are is practicing uh, hygiene of the penis at that particular point. Urethra is a tube that runs through the center of the penis and serves a dual function of both urination and also ejaculation. It extends from the bladder to the external opening of the tip of the gland of the penis. Number four, six is about blood supply and nerves. The penis receives blood supply from the branches of internal prudential brudent, artery so, and it is innervated by the branches of the pudendal nerve which carry sensory and motor signals uh, from the genital region. Understanding the anatomy of the penis is important to recognize the normal development and functioning as well as diagnosing and treatment of that may affect the uh, health of the penis. Can uh, pornography cause erectile dysfunction? The relationship between pornography and erectile dysfunction is complex and not fully understood, but there is evidence that uh, when one is exposed to pornography or excessive consumption of uh, pornography may contribute to the ED or erectile dys dysfunction in some individuals. Number one is about desensitization by regular exposure to pornography, especially with increasing explicit or novel content and lead to desensitization. And over time, individuals may require more extreme or novel stimuli to achieve the same level of arousal, potentially leading to difficulty in becoming aroused and or maintaining an erection in real life situations. Performance anxiety. Viewing idealized or exaggerated portrays of sexual activity in pornography can create unrealistic expectations about sex and also body image. This contributes to, to 
her performance anxiety where individuals feel pressure to perform uh, sexually or mates with the ability to an, an idealistic uh, standards leading to difficulty in achieving or attaining an erection. Number two is about number three is about distraction. Excessive pornography consumption uh, can lead to habitual or compulsive viewing view, uh, behaviors where that they detract one from really life sexual experiences. The distraction can interfere with the ability to become aroused or maintain an erection during intimacy encounters. Number four is about relationship issues. Uh, excessive pornography use can strain relationship, leading to uh, communication problems, decreased intimacy, and uh, loss of interest in real life sexual activity with a partner. Relationship issues can contribute to stress, anxiety, and ultimate erectile dysfunction. Guys, it is important to know that everyone who watches pornography will experience erectile dysfunction. Uh, guys, it's important to note that not everyone who watches pornography will experience ED and the main factors contribute to erectile dysfunction and kindly if you have not watched our previous video on erectile dysfunction, you better watch it because it gives a lot of details over the same, including uh, the ED can also be caused by medical conditions, medications, relationship uh, issues, additionally occasional or moderate pornography use is not necessarily harmful to everyone. However, if uh, pornography is interfering with the daily life, relationship, or sexual functioning, it is uh, worth seeking support from a healthcare professional or the therapists, therapist. Guys, we have some a few tips on how to reverse uh, naturally the ED or erectile dysfunction. How can you naturally reverse uh, erectile dysfunction? Number one, while it is uh, essential for healthcare professionals, uh, personalized advice and treatment options. I'm going to give some lifestyle changes and also natural remedies that help improve the ED. Number one is about healthy diet. is one of the reversal mechanisms which one can employ. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grain, lean proteins and uh, healthy fats can improve the overall health and circulation which is very important for erectile function. And also, uh, and also make one uh, have that uh, 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 reverse that condition of the erectile uh, dysfunction. Number two is about regular exercise. Engaging in regular physical activities such as brisk walking, cycling, and swimming can improve blood flow, cardiovascular health, and also overall well-being, which can benefit the erectile dysfunction. Manage stress is also a way of uh, reversing the ED. Or chronic stress can contribute to ED or erectile dysfunction. Practice, uh, practice stress reduction techniques such as meditation, yoga, deep breathing exercise, mindfulness to manage the stress and also uh, reduce the levels of that stress. Number four is about quit smoking. Smoking can damage blood vessels and impair circulation leading to erectile problems. So quitting uh, smoking is very important that to improve vascular health and also erectile function. Number five is about limit alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption can interfere with the sexual activity. Limit uh, of alcohol intake is very important to moderate levels or avoid it altogether if you experience the erectile dysfunction. Number six is about maintaining healthy weight as a way of reversing the erectile dysfunction. Being over, overweight or obese can increase the risk of ED. Losing excessive weight through combination of diet and exercise can improve the erectile function. Number seven is about getting quality sleep. Uh, poor sleep quality or sleep disorders can contribute to ED. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep, of quality sleep per night to support overall health and also well-being. Number seven is about, uh, number eight is about address underlying health conditions, if, especially if you have chronic illnesses. From our previous video, I talked about hypertension, about about uh, cardiac problem, cardiac diseases. I talked about diabetes and also other other conditions. It's very important they get managed very well so that you get uh, with your health care provider. You get that uh, things like high cholesterol and hormonal imbalances, and also blood pressure, and diabetes are put are put to uh, uh, are put to a level where. The body can accommodate them so that you can function well uh, sexually, so, hence managing the erectile dysfunction. 
also consider we have some also some herbal like uh, herbal uh, supplements like what we call L, L arginine and uh, honey goat uh, weed which have been started, uh, studied and also research has been done on them for potential benefits in improving erectile dysfunction. However, more research is needed and it's essential to consult with a healthcare provider before taking any of those supplements because they may interfere with the medication you are taking and also may cause more harm than good at that particular point. Last but not least is about communication and intimacy. Communication is very important. Maintain open communication with your partner about your concerns and feelings uh, related to ED or uh, electric dysfunction. Focus on intimacy and emotional connection which can help reduce uh, performance pressure and also improve sexual uh, satisfaction. Remember that lifestyle changes and natural remedies uh, may not work for everyone and it is essential to consult with the healthcare professionals or for personalized health advice and treatment option tailored to your individual uh, needs. That's very important guys that you get to, to see your healthcare provider to help you come up with uh, the proper management and also of this or to reverse this uh, electrical dysfunction. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nazwin. Can't believe you have not subscribed to our channel. You are missing a lot. By liking the video, you get us uh, uh, to reach a uh, larger population so that this uh, message is shared. In here, we get to share medical stuff in a simple language which everyone uh, gets to understand even if you are not a medical person. Guys, welcome. My name is Vincent. Welcome to our next video and we love you very much. Peace, guys. But then you could leave it. When you're by the 6,000 followers, some of you are quite